In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a broadcast in Aweber. Broadcasts enable you to schedule your email ahead of time. You may be wondering what the difference is between a follow-up series and a broadcast. In the follow-up series, obviously, it is a series of emails that you are going to send to your subscribers. Whereas for a broadcast, it's an email that requires you to set a specific date and time to send out your email. For follow-up series, it doesn't matter when they subscribe to your campaign. The sequence will always be the same as how you've set them up. Unlike follow-up, if a subscriber missed the date you've set for the broadcast, he will never receive it again unless you send it to him manually. Without further ado, let's get started. When you've logged into your Aweber account, move your cursor to Messages. You will then see the Broadcasts option in the drop-down menu. Click on it and wait for it to load. You will see three options on the page. Drag and drop email builder, plain text message, and HTML editor. For this case, I will choose the drag and drop email builder as an example. First, type your subject line and email. At the right side of the box, you can see there is a Templates button. Click on it to choose your template. I will choose the plain center aligned template for now. And then click on Apply. Moving on, you can see a list of features at the left side of the box. If you need any one of the features, you can drag and drop them to the position you want them to be. For example, if you want to add a video box in your email, hover to the video icon. Hold on to it and drag to the place that you want it to be. And then enter the video URL, title of your video, and the destination URL. Moreover, you can choose which side you want to align the video to as well. The next thing that I want to show you in this video is to hyperlink your links to the emails. First, select the sentence you want to hyperlink. In this case, I will type click here to find out more. Select the sentence, find a chain-like button on the top menu bar, click on it, and then enter the URL link. And once you've done this, click on the OK button. When you are satisfied with the design, click on the Save and Exit button to move on. It will then lead you to this page. Click on the Send Options button and choose Schedule a Broadcast. You get to choose to archive and share your message via social media. This is an optional step. You can turn it off if you do not want to share the message via social media. And then you can choose to send to different segments. Click on the Edit button if you want to customize it. Usually, I will recommend that you choose all subscribers because you definitely want every single one of your subscribers to see your email. But once again, it's all up to you to choose who to send to. Right below the table of your lists, you can see there are two options. First, track clicks on website links in this message. It is highly recommended to click on this option because you will know how many clicks on the link in your email. The second option is email me when quick stats are available. This is an optional step. You can choose to disable it if you do not want to receive the email. If you do not need to schedule this email for later, you can click on the send message now button to send it immediately. But if you wish to send this later, you can edit the date right here. You will see the scheduler. This is the feature that enables you to send your email on a specific day and a specific time. You will turn this on, especially if you have your launch soon. Once you've turned this on, you will see a calendar. Select the date you wish to send your email. And then you will see a time box pop up on that date. Select the send time. For example, select the time zone to Eastern time. Change the send time to 9 in the morning and click on the Apply button. Finally, click on the Schedule Message For button at the bottom. And there you go. You have just scheduled an email to be sent later.